let's take a look at the Formex Essence 39. This is the smaller variation, a recent release of the Essence. I reviewed the 43 millimeter variation, the blue dial chronometer last year that I was really favorable on. And this one I think is even better. It's slightly smaller. I enjoy the size more, 39.2 in overall diameter, 45.6 overall lug to lug length with a 10.3 millimeter height, 20 millimeter lugs, a slight two millimeter taper on the bracelet down to the butterfly style deployant here that carries a twin trigger release on one side, a friction fit closure on the other side and notice the uh, ceramic ball bearing detent. And then there is a very ingenious extension system in the bracelet. The bracelet really is a highlight for me. I love the shorter links, the satin brushing, the screw pin connectors, and the fact that you get a really nice drape, full articulation with a high polished beveled edge. And then you pair that with a quick release system and you have a really strong watch at 1390 as shown here. Now this one is on loan from Formex directly and in full transparency, I am under no obligation to be favorable. We're gonna take a look at the good things. We're gonna take a look at the bad things. I'm not being paid. I'm not getting a discount. I'm not getting a free watch. I just owe it to you guys to be transparent and talk about every aspect of this watch, but just be warned. I think this is really strong for the price. Like, look at this great size, great finish work, great legibility, details, BGW9, you know, the adjustability, the chronometer movement. It's not very often that you see a chronometer certified sub $2,000. So I look at this and I do see a value proposition. And I know a lot of you agree with me. I put a poll up recently in the community page on my YouTube channel, just, uh, you know, highlighting a few very popular micro brands and asking, you know, which, which do you like the most? Which is the most impressive to you recently? And Formex was really garnering a lot of the votes. So I know a lot of you guys agree with me. And the thing that I'm probably most excited about is the fact that this brand, they really listen to their consumer base. And not a lot of brands do that these days. And I'm specifically talking about the logo. So on the 43 millimeter Essence, which you can still buy on their website, you have this stylized printed logo, which really I had no problem with, but I know a lot of you guys thought it looked silly. It looked uh, vintage retro. There are some, you know, some common things that I heard, but look at this new logo. It's sleek. It's contemporary. We now have a brushed applied logo below the double 12 o'clock you know, index there. And I think it looks great. I think this strengthens the the brand and the fact that they're listening to their audience, their most enthusiastic supporters is just a great sign. So let's talk about the good. Let's talk about the negative elements. And uh, we'll, we'll just give this a real good looking over. And hopefully that helps you guys that are shopping this. Maybe you're cross shopping the Manta Noble. Maybe you're looking at a Longines or an Oris or, or a Notice or something. I just hope to give you some more information in your search. So let's start with the way this wears. Again, 39.2 in overall diameter. I like the way this sits on my wrist. It almost appears a touch too diminutive, uh, but that's probably because I'm used to wearing larger watches. And so here it is next to the 41 millimeter overseas. And honestly, honestly guys, Look at these two side by side. Do you think that there is, you know, 20 times the difference in price? It shouldn't appear that way. They both look great, great details. And that to me kind of speaks to the value that Formex is bringing to the table for the prices that they charge. I certainly believe that the VC is a far superior watch, obviously. I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to, to, to pass these two off as competitors. I'm just trying to highlight, hey, this looks pretty dang good. And again, I think you guys will agree with me here. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the movement. We have a Solita SW 200 chronometer grade, very traditional classic finish work with uh, micro perlage work and blued screws. We have a semi skeleton rotor here with the cutout in the middle, 26 joules, 28,800 beats per hour in a 38 hour power reserve. Now in full transparency, guys, I said I wouldn't shy away from the negative elements. I have found a few uh, concerning details 
of the assembly process for this uh, for this movement. I noticed on a macro level, you guys can see uh, whoever was assembling <laughs> the screws here, the blued screws, uh, they didn't do a great job. You can see some damage on some of the screw heads, which is a little disappointing. And then if we turn it over and look at the dial side on a macro level, you guys can see great color play, vertical satin brushing uh, with the green texture. And then there's a horizontal teak CNC machined plank dial here, a teak texture. And then we have applied markers, faceted. Uh, they, they look good. They're kind of an elongated octagonal form. But if you look at the double 12, you guys will see some unevenness in the finish and it doesn't look that good. And then if you look at the handset, it's just a hint of fuzz or unevenness in the finish. It's a little rough, which, you know, you can't notice when you're looking at this with the naked eye. You're looking at your wrist to gauge the time. You're definitely not going to see these details. You certainly wouldn't notice that on the screws on the case back. But the fact that they're there is a little bothersome, a little worrisome. And I did not experience that with the 43 millimeter essence that I reviewed last year. So this could be just an isolated example. And to be honest, this is a review example. It's made the rounds on YouTube. I'm not the first person to get this. You guys can see it's kind of scratched up. Uh, it's kind of dinged up a little bit. So perhaps it's just a prototype, but I wanted to be you know, just fully transparent for you guys. I know you appreciate that. Now let's talk about the patented suspension system in the case. It's really interesting. If I put my thumbs on the case back, I can push up and get a little bit of travel, a little bit of spring-loaded action here. Now, honestly, just my own opinion, I don't know how much this will help with shock protection. I think it would be negligible at best. What I think this really enhances is the comfort level on wrist. I know a lot of you guys enjoy not a Bruce loose fit, but kind of a kind of a firm fit. Uh, not a, I guess you could say snug, not tight. Not wrist claustrophobia, but a snug fit. So when you have this feature here, this uh, patented shock protection system, you have greater wrist articulation. And so you get a little bit of flex and give, very similar to the Tudor Pelagos when it comes to their spring-loaded clasp. So I, I do think this does enhance the comfort and the wearability of the watch, even though it might feel a little bit gimmicky looking at it. And one could argue the watch would be stronger without the feature. But at this point, this is a quintessential part of the essence. And one of the reasons why you buy an essence is to get the spring protection system. So let's just reiterate here. I think this is a great offering for the price. I love the bracelet. I love the fact that we have the uh, extension system in the butterfly class. Very uncommon. Full articulation, screw links, good anti-reflective treatment, BGW9 looms, uh, you know, very legible, great color play. Even the detail of the chapter ring being slightly reflective to where on some of these macro shots, you can see a little bit of that green reflected in the high polished um, chamfered edge of these applied markers. It, it does have a special quality to it. This design is sleek and contemporary, aggressive. I do think this is awesome. I do like the new logo. I think that uh, for the price, you know, $13.90, I don't know that you can ask for much more. This really uh, brings a very well-rounded package to the table. And hopefully I've been able to demonstrate that here throughout the course of the video and that you guys have found it helpful and informative. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm happy to try to elaborate on any point I didn't convey very clearly. There will be a link in the description to Formex's website where you guys can uh, pre-order any variation of the watches that they sell. This one is anticipated to ship at the end of February. So, you know, just about a month and a half from now. And then I will be getting a reef diver in for review that I'm most excited about. I think it's their strongest design to date. It's a little bit more expensive than this one, but I think uh, from what I'm seeing, the pictures and specs, I, I think it looks fantastic. And it may be the best diver sub $2,000 on the market. So uh, I'll be doing a full review on that, hopefully within the next month. So stay tuned. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you Formex for lending this in. Hope you guys have a great evening and I'll see you next time.